Surgery is the most common form of treatment in breast cancer. It was previously thought that the spread of cancer followed a particular pattern from the primary tumor to regional lymph nodes to distant sites. More recently, however, it is understood that cancerous cells may metastasize early and thus will have already spread to distant sites by the time the patient is assessed. Therefore, early diagnosis and or surgery are important both for control of local disease as well as for preventing spread of the disease. There has been some controversy surrounding the choice of operation in those patients with early breast cancer and in some patients with more advanced disease. The classical operation of radical mastectomy was designed to ensure local control by removing the breast on block as well as the ipsilateral axilla and underlying chest muscle. This extreme approach was largely abandoned in the late 1970s in favor of the modified radical mastectomy, which leaves the muscle tissue intact. Current surgical options also include the total or simple mastectomy, in which only the affected breast is removed, and lumpectomy to remove both the tumor and a margin of healthy tissue surrounding it while preserving the breast itself. The axillary lymph nodes may also be sampled and or removed in conjunction with simple mastectomy or lumpectomy.